Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at live World of Warcraft and how the game currently is in its current state, which is today is March 22nd, 2016, so maybe this video will hopefully be less relevant in the future, but today we're going to go over 20 reasons why World of Warcraft now currently sucks, at least compared to what it used to be like. Um, I'm not going to hype on vanilla and be like, vanilla is the greatest expansion ever, and I'm not going to go off about Burning Crusade and how Burning Crusade was the greatest or Wrath of the Lich King was the greatest because honestly guys none of that shit matters none of that shit matters in the grand scheme of things I think what the most important thing is now is how the game currently is and the problems that the game currently has now a lot of people are going to disagree with me and that's fine you can dislike the video you can hate the video if you notice my previous videos on this channel you will notice that a lot of them have a lot of dislikes some some of them have more likes than dislikes so you know it, I, I'm not here to gain public favor I'm not here to gain public support I just want to point out you know the 20 reasons why I think World of Warcraft currently is not a very good uh, at least MMORPG anymore so I'm gonna label the reasons down from 20 to 1 I think these reasons are about in order they're in the order of um, the reasons that aren't as bad compared to the reasons that are as bad as the list goes down and we're gonna touch up on every single issue and I'm, I'm gonna try to expand on every single issue as best that I can okay so number 20 this is going to sound a little nitpicky but nighttime is still not dark enough the game used to have this atmospheric uh, kind of thing during the night where you know you if you see the video currently of me walking around during the night time the game was a lot more dark during the night it was a lot more atmospheric it felt a lot more alive now i know this is kind of a small thing and i understand that people might be like it's kind of nitpicky i understand i also understand why blizzard decided to make the game a little bit more bright just for players who play at night uh so that i guess they could see quest mobs easier or something like that I think what Blizzard should do is just create a toggle feature or something like that because I really do think the world felt a lot more atmospheric, a lot more alive, a lot better when, um, you know, nighttime was actually still dark. I, I really, really feel like how it is currently to how it was back then is just, it's just a huge, huge gap. It, it, it just, you know, I really liked nighttime. Um, playing during the night it just felt almost almost felt like a different game in some ways you know just just it felt better just more atmospheric number 19 flying mounts okay so everybody likes to shit on flying mounts a lot of the casual players love flying mounts i think what flying mounts have done is make the world feel a lot more smaller and i think that this is a huge fucking issue um when it comes to an mmorpg because it's supposed to feel like a massive multiplayer online role-playing game it's supposed to feel like an adventure like you're part of a bigger world and what flying mounts did was it shrank the world down to size and it made the world feel very small it also kind of destroyed world pvp and you know it's it's one of those things where i feel like because flying mounts are already in the game blizzard should really just embrace embrace them at this point instead of restricting use of them uh, every single ex expansion, they try to restrict the use, and then they'll they'll release a patch that will allow you the ability to go out and get flying. I think, I think in the end though, I think it, it was just better to embrace embrace flying mounts at this point, and maybe just design around them. I think that would create a better overall experience uh, for the majority of players, and not piss off so many people, you know, looking to jump into the expansion and, and they're stuck on their ground mounts, and and you know they can't use their favorite mounts. So I feel like flying mounts should just be something that is going to be, should be embraced, I feel. Um, instead, they seem to have taken the road that they kind of restrict the use, and I, I feel like it's just the wrong thing to do, considering how the game currently is. Number 18, Twitter slash Facebook integration. So I don't want Twitter and I don't want Facebook inside this fucking video game. I feel like 10 years ago, people were like, yeah, or probably about 8 years ago, people were like, yeah, fucking World of Warcraft fuck is gonna have like Facebook and Twitter in the future I, and, and it was like one of those things people were just kind of joking joking around about like when they envisioned WoW in the future They kind of envisioned Twitter slash Facebook integration in the video game And I feel like it's something that should really take a backseat to the overall um, Features that they implement I can open Twitter in a web browser. I can open Facebook in a web browser I don't need that in, in that kind of integration inside uh this video game and I and I, it's it's just one of those things where you know if they want to do it fine but uh, 
make it make it something that it's not so much it's not going to be in our faces and that's the only concern i have i i just i don't feel like a selfie cam and, and twitter integration is 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 uh should be considered a content patch because it really really fucking is it number 17 leveling compared to previous expansions sucks so i think um the most important thing here is the fact that it takes no time to get to level cap uh you, you you play the expansion and it takes like maybe 10 maybe 10 hours max that's if you're not abusing certain mechanics to get to uh the level cap in wrath of the lich king and in, in the burning crusade it, it was uh it was a it was more about the overall experience i guess that's the best way I could put it is, you know, it took a good, probably a good 20 to 40 hours even in some aspects to hit level cap. And throughout that entire experience, you got to see many of the dungeons in the game. You got to see almost pretty much every single zone in the game. And by the time you hit the last zone, you you dinged, you were level cap. And from that point, you were able to progress into the end game, uh, end game part of the game. So... You know, the beginning experience of the game is a huge, huge thing for me. I think that the game, when it comes to these, these expansion packs, if, if they're going to make the leveling experience not really matter, if it's going to be like an eight-hour thing, you get a level every hour, and you're you're at level cap, and, and it's not really an important thing, you don't have to touch any dungeons, you don't really have to touch anything, you'll just ding in, in, in a zone at some point within eight hours of questing. Like, why bother with the questing then? Why bother with the with with it? And, you know, you might as well just say, uh, you know, screw raising the level cap. We're just going to implement some new zones and give you guys some new dungeons and some new raids. Because if, if, you're, if they're going to make leveling so much less important, then there's really no point in even having it. Uh, the zones are very important. Like the zones are a very important part of the expansion. The story is a very important part of the ex or a very important part of the expansion. It's all very important things that they should be, you know, focusing on. Um, and I feel like leveling should be an adventure. It shouldn't be just just go 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 hit level cap. Go 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 go. Uh, gear up, go, 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 oh, I'm bored, there's nothing left to do, what am I going to do, and then quit the game, which is what happened in Warlords of Draenor. I mean, I hit um, Inspires of Arak. I didn't even hit any dungeons, I didn't do anything. I hit level 100 right as I was entering Nagrand. I didn't have to finish Nagrand, and it, it was so disappointing, because I would have liked to see the dungeons, and I would have liked to see the, you know, all the zones, and at least some, some detail before hitting level cap, and the game never really let me do that. So yeah, leveling is just, it's not as good as it used to be uh, for the end game leveling experience. Number 16, community is fucking retarded and Blizzard appeals to the lowest common denominator. So just as just an example, we can go on to the, uh, the forums right now and you have people arguing to get rid of factions, to get rid of, you know, these iconic experiences that were in, started in the game. And I kind of just don't understand you know like why the community wants to push for these things um i guess times have changed you know if people really want to get rid of factions fine i guess let's get rid of factions the game's soul has already been been destroyed there's not much left for for the community to really suggest uh things for blizzard to destroy blizzard is going to destroy things regardless of if the community supports it or not so uh, the com and, and it's it's other things to other systems you know they've made crafting appeal to the lowest common denominator it's no longer you know an experienced player can no longer really excel with these systems anymore these 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 systems are now put in place for the lowest common denominator of player um the entire game appeals to the lowest common denominator of player if you don't want to raid don't raid if you don't want to really level with other people don't level with other people if you don't want to be social go sit in a garrison you know like it, it's it's no longer an mmo rpg anymore uh it seems that they've taken an entirely different different route and it, it's it's kind of sad um i feel like by i feel like they used to appeal to the high level players more and i think appealing to the high level players while still giving entry to some of the low you know the the less skilled players giving a path of entry was a much better thing because the, the, this the cat the ceiling was so much higher you know the ceiling was was, was a much higher thing to reach for and nowadays uh the ceiling is so low that you hit the ceiling the lowest common denominator player hits the ceiling and they quit the game because there's really nothing else for them to strive for and for the, the high level experienced players 
you know it's 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 it doesn't really matter anymore because you you, you run three different well actually four dif different uh, difficulties of these raids if you want to count Alafar and it's the same raid same thing over and over and you're, they're not really being rewarded um, as much as they used to for for hitting such high level content it's no longer a rewarding experience that's why you've seen I think in part a lot of these high level uh, guilds disband and you know they're not doing world first anymore they're not participating anymore because it's not worth participating anymore the game no longer you know caters to them in, in any way really possible and it, it sucks that the ceiling has become so low because it, it, it kind of takes away from the game um, in my opinion anyway Number 15, lack of social features slash encouragement. So there was a post on the forums that said it was an MVP guy. Let me see if I can drag it up here. Um, just give me a second here, guys. Okay, so the post is you need to be socially engineered to make friends, question mark. You need someone to hold your hand and force you into social situations, question mark. The problem has never been the game. The problem is us. We want things immediate. We don't want to take time to find people to help us out. We want fast cues. We have one wipe and we're gone. We have the patience of GNATs. We have the hair trigger temperature of a badger in heat. We act like reprobates and expect everyone to treat us like gods. The game has never been at fault for our behavior. The only people at fault is us. So I agree with probably just the end part of the post. I feel like the game has actually become less socially encouraging. So you can't just expect to push a bunch of people into this game world together and expect them to cooperate and expect them to get along and, and expect them to um, you know really be social and really build build a good community that's not how it's gonna work it's just like in human society we need government and we need uh, you know a solid base in order to really have the community evolve and, and really 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 uh, socialize and act you know great together um, whereas in game it's pretty much the same thing we need to be socially encouraged we need to have situations that encourage social interaction. So, for example, uh, early on in, say, Vanilla or TBC or Wrath of the Lich King, when you when you even started the game, you know, it, the game encouraged you to group up with other people um, in order to not fight over mobs. The game encouraged you to, you know, use skill sets together, use use your classes together, um, talk, communicate with each other, because you have to face these elite monsters. You have to, you know, work together and overcome these things and by the time you hit level 60 you had already built a solid base of friends in the game you had already gotten into a guild and you were already you know gearing up getting ready to start raiding these things were all happening um and and, and it slowly built up over time so but now the game is more about you know just just kill mobs you know face roll everything you see and you hit level cap you haven't really talked to anybody you haven't really communicated with anybody um, the game hasn't really encouraged you to do so. Of course, you can go do so, but the game isn't really encouraging you. So a lot of the time, the community has just actually kind of evolved to a point where nobody really talks to each other, nobody really communicates with each other, and I think the issue is really the fault of the game and really also a fault of the community, but more so the fault of the game because the game does not encourage social behavior like it used to, and that's a primary thing I want to get across and why I agree with the post but I also disagree with it as well so number 14 Ashran sucks this is another issue so Ashran was a cool little thing Blizzard did you you, you do it's it's actually like it, it kind of I think they were trying to bring back uh, old Alt Alterac Valley um, it kind of failed because I think they they again they overcomplicate things they they implement these overcomplicated compl concepts um, and we end up having to you know like it, it kind of alienates people in in the aspects of they have to f it's, it's the same with boss fights um, these these high end level boss fights there there's so many things you have to do now in order to kill these bosses and it's so much but same with the PvP you have all these mixed events going on and you know it, it I think they probably would have been better off just implementing old Alteric Valley. I don't know why they don't just go and implement it. Update Alteric Valley a little bit, improve the textures, keep the same basic gameplay. That's all they have to do. That entire battleground, that entire battleground was meant to last a long time. Um, fights were meant to last a long time. It, it was designed that way. And I feel like, you know, if they, I, I really hate to say, oh, let's bring back old content and make it, you know, uh, the primary PvP aspect of a new zone where you can go in and and you can PvP at any time, but I feel like Alteric Valley really 
um, was was a good would have been a better option than implementing this new zone Ashran, um, which is just a lag fest for anybody with with a you know even an average computer. It's it's just a it's just low frame rates. Um, it's got it's got performance issues, but it's also not very fun. It's not very fun to get into um, unless. Unless, I don't know, you get off on it. But I really think Ashran is not very good. I think it was a cool concept, but it wasn't implemented very well. And I think they they should have just made it a little a little less, maybe, I hate to say maybe complicated, a little less complicated, a little bit more focused on, you know, primary PvP objectives. And it would have been a, it would a little bit, would have been a little bit better. Number 13, inflated gold. So gold is fucking inflated. Inflated guys, it's so bad. You go to an auction house, you have prices upwards to thirty thousand gold. So many people are sitting at gold caps. So many people have bought all these tokens with gold. Their their fucking accounts are subscribed for the next two years. Gold is everywhere. It's fucking everywhere. There's no point in, in using the crafting systems anymore. It's just gold has been inflated to ridiculous amounts. It's no longer a fun thing to accumulate gold anymore. It's not a a interesting thing to do anymore it's just kind of like okay everybody is rich now you know it's kind of taken away from uh the aspect of the game which would have been you know working the economy working your crafting professions um going out into the world mining herbing um and and you know really really getting a lot of gold from that rewarding the players that really know how to work the economy it's now more or less everybody is just a fucking millionaire and it's not you know, it's not very fun, in my opinion. It kind of takes away from the fun of the game. Number 12, pay to win features. So, you guys are probably thinking, what? There's not pay to win in this game. Man, there is fucking pay to win in this game. You can buy a level capped character. You can buy gold. You can literally buy gold right now. You go buy a WoW token, you sell that shit, you got 30,000 to 40,000 gold in your pockets. If you're rich as fuck, you can go buy shit tons of these tokens and, and never work a, the economy ever in this game. You don't have to worry about anything. You know, if, if you want to pay money into this game, you can get ahead of other players. Um, you do not have to level. You do not have to grind gold the only thing that you really have to do is you know get your level capped character go to go to timeless isle or ashran farm your fucking epics get into a raid and, and you're you know within a week within two weeks three weeks at most you're fucking raiding you're fucking done this game you've you've seen all the content there's no point in you going out and running mythics because you know you've already seen the content what, what you're not going to be rewarded for running these high level dungeons and high level raids anymore either um might as well just you know, like I said, this the, the ceiling is so low that there's, you know, like you have these and you have these pay to win features now. It's kind of like there's really less, not very much effort put into the game anymore. Uh, if you really just want to shell out money and and pay, and even if you don't want to, you know, shell out the fucking sixty dollars for a level capped character, you can go level a level care or, or just a level one character all the way to level cap within you know two days, and you know within three weeks, four weeks of creating that character, you you've hit the you've hit the ceiling. There's nothing else for you to do. So I think that's a big issue. Um, number eleven, dungeons less relevant at, at level cap slash the game has become too raid focused so dungeons are a lot less relevant these days and i think they're fixing this in legion i think that's what they're trying to do um but but the game has really become just raid focused it's, it's all about raiding it's all about you know getting into raids get running lfr it's not it's not very fun anymore you know like before you could run these dungeons and and, and it was just I, I feel like dungeons should play a more primary role in the game and i think they really realized that there's more at level cap that people want to do than just run raids you know there's crafting there's events um there's quests there's daily quests there's rep grinds there's so many other things that they can go with and just run lfr and you know going to <laughs> going to timeless isle 2.0 and grinding apex crystals for ba baleful gear, gear when you can go fucking go to ashran and, and in two days get purple gear i mean why bother right i mean it's it's just one of those things that i think uh dungeon should be made a little bit more relevant and more of an option for for players number 10 this leads me to low level dungeons low level dungeons are fucking horrible to play everybody has heirlooms if you do not have a heirloom and you're, you're in a low level dungeon 
you're gonna fucking get a lot of shit from people. Like, people are gonna fucking treat you like shit. If you're a low-level tank without heirloom gear, you're fucking getting kicked from that dungeon within, like, ten minutes of fucking entering that dungeon. No no joke, seriously. Um, it's sad, you know? <laughs> hey, it's all about heirlooms now. It's all about face roll through these dungeons. No CC, no, no anything, really. You just run through these... The dungeon. It, basically, all it is is the tank is doing like forty percent of group damage. The healer is keeping the tank alive, and the and the tank is also taking like sixty to sixty to eighty percent of group damage. So, you know, the DPS are just a, around around for the ride. Really, you just smash a bunch of buttons, and you're gonna fucking get through the dungeon. It's no longer um, an epic experience anymore. It's no longer an adventure. These dungeons are just face roll, completely face roll, and it really. Uh, it doesn't shape these players to become good players, good raiders when they're they hit level cap. You know they're they're gonna go into these high level raids. They're gonna start smacking around these fucking mobs, bursting every CD they have, and they're gonna have a shit experience with with uh, the game, and and probably gonna quit the game too because the game hasn't really taught them how to play. It, it it's they never had to really learn anything, which leads to level nine. The low level experience is horrible. Fuck the low level experience is horrible. It used to be fun, interesting. It used to be, like I said, uh, you know, progression used to be important. Um, the adventure used to be there. You know, like there was an entire different aspect to this game, and and that was leveling. Everybody, most of the people playing were fucking leveling characters. Everybody loved leveling characters. Uh, alts were huge. People would hit level cap, do their raids, and then they'd on 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 their days off or when, whatever they would go use their alts and level up. And what has basically happened is the low level experience is you face roll fucking everything right to level cap. It's so fast you can't even complete the zones, uh, the quests in the zones anymore. And the and the zones are all so fucking like the story is so out of whack. You go from Deathwing to uh, Illidan to Arthas back to Deathwing. Um, and then from that point, you, you end up in, like, Pandaria, and then from Pandaria, you're in Warlords of Draenor, and it's like, fuck, what, what the fuck is the story? Like, the, lo the, the new player is so, is gonna be so alienated, they're gonna, they're gonna be like, what the fuck is happening, you know? And, uh, the low-level experience is just, honestly, the worst it has ever been is today. Um, Post-Cataclysm, when Cataclysm first came out, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. They overdid the phasing. Uh, the quests were very linear. And I think you see that in all of Cataclysm content in general. But that being said, at the same time, um, it was a little slower. It was still slower back then. You know, you didn't have um, heirloom gear to, to, what was it, 40 to 50% heirloom gear. Uh, XP like you still could go through these zones a little bit. You could still see the zones nowadays It's fucking you're in 50% 45% heirloom gear and and you can't see any of these zones It's it's just kill 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 face roll in your level cap. I mean, it's fucking boring shit and There's no reason to craft anymore during the leveling experience. There's no twinking is not really around anymore The twinking communities are gone, you know, it's it's just it's the, the, the low level experience in this game you don't even quest with people anymore really the mobs you kill for example hogger you can go create a level one character deck him out in, in heirloom gear and go kill hogger it's it's not a hard thing back in the day if you were a level one and, and even if you fucking twinked that level one character out and you went to go kill hogger that was one fucking hell of a fight uh these days not so much you fucking can kill any mob you want easy um a level one character can I'll, I'll show you in the video here you'll see me in the vanilla experience attack a level one mob and, and or a mob that's levels higher than me and die and then you'll see me in the live experience uh attack a mob 10 levels higher than me and and succeed so the low level experience is just shit number eight crafting system is no longer relevant so yeah crafting's garbage now it's fucking why even bother you know like um I would actually say the entire profession system is really no, really not that relevant. Uh, if you, I guess, herbing and mining, and maybe skinning, you go out and go do those things. I guess you can make some gold, but in general, outside of that, uh, crafting is no longer fun to level up. There's no reason to level it up. There's no really no need to level your professions up until you hit Warlords of Draenor, and even then, even then, it's kind of like uh, everybody can really go go get a Warlords of Draenor. Um, ex profession it instantly levels your professions up to a certain point 
so that you can make certain mats and you can make certain materials at a high level and it's it's not a rewarding experience anymore it's not a fun experience anymore it's it's just it seems irrelevant and i know legion is trying to change that but i don't know if if legion is going to really be able to solve that problem or not it, it remains to be seen number seven pvp ratings deflated pvp sucks now so there's actually a forum post on this that i can bring up um it's been brought up a few times now and i think it's also partially to blame why wow has lost so many subscribers if i can find it here please fix pvp so the post basically says uh player versus player has brought myself and many of my friends truly unforgettable for unforgettable moments in this game i can remember my first 1750 my first 2000 my first 2200 and my first 2400 i can name the people i played with i can remember some of the games that were the most fun as well and it basically goes on to say you know kick bot rotation bot uh hacks basically players using these uh programs to basically hack the system these players may receive bans of six months, but that does not stop them from remaking an account and doing it again. Um, so this this guy's opinion is basically, you know, there's a lot of issues with with bots, uh, and it's just just basically, you know, PVP ratings. Also, there's another post here of PV, PVP ratings being deflated. It's it's no longer really. There's like what 35 players above 2200 or something. Um, PvP has really become an afterthought, I think. Class balance is also at a really terrible place right now. I know that much. Um, if you're playing a healer in Arena, I don't know how the fuck you're, you're doing it. It's, it's fucking aggravating. <laughs> it's fucking aggravating to be shut down constantly. CC, fucking stun, fucking. I mean, it's 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 not fun. You 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 don't heal nearly as good as you used to, and they have these artificial. Um, systems where you get like dampening and you can't heal as much you take more damage uh so you're no longer fighting against players you're really more or less fighting against the system and i feel like if they need to take pvp back to just uh you know uh, and also get rid of like comps that completely and utterly destroy other comps it needs to be a little bit more balanced a little bit more um a little bit more thought needs to be put into it. The PvP system, believe it or not, was actually better last expansion and, and the expansion previously. And I think a lot of players have actually left the game due to how bad PvP has currently become. I think it's 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 a thing that a lot of people actually don't really talk about very much anymore. Um, it's kind of like the silent thing in the room that no one really wants to bring up. But PvP is not nearly as good as it used to be. Number six, mission table plus garrison shit. So, <sighs> mission tables and garrisons, uh, especially with garrisons, I'm, I'm going to say has really made the game more of a single player experience. It's, it's created a system in which um, you can pretty much do everything you need to do in your garrison. And if you need want to go use the auction house, you can just go run to Ashran for that. So, I mean, it's really kept people out of the cities even, out of the, out of the world to a certain extent. Mission tables is more like a Facebook mini game. You don't really do much with the mission tables. I mean, a lot of people just take the add-ons and assign their followers, and then you know they wait like 30 minutes to a few hours, come back and get something for it, and then reset them out again. There's not, there's no gameplay behind it. It's not interesting. It's not fun anymore, or it's not, it's never been fun. It's just basically go to a fucking mission table, click a few buttons, leave for two hours, come back, and it's 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 it should be in the game. I'm gonna say this. People are going to fucking shit on me for this. I think mission tables should be in the game, but they should play such a smaller role instead of such a big role as it does today. Um, it's kind of kind of cool for the people that like it, but it shouldn't play nearly as big of a role as it does in today's game. And as for garrisons, all the stuff we were promised at BlizzCon to par compared to what we actually got, it's pretty sad. Depending on which faction you're stuck um, in... In either Frostfire Ridge or Shadow Moon Valley, I argue that the Alliance got the better deal there because Shadow Moon Valley is actually probably my favorite zone in the current expansion. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, even you can't even really change the architecture of certain buildings. You know, it would have been cool to be Horde and maybe build some Blood Elf architecture and Goblin architecture and, you know, Forsaken architecture. And if you're Alliance, you could build some, build some you know, Dwarven architecture, Gnomish architecture. It would have been cool to kind of have more customization over your garrison, but there's very little customization. And it's 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 kind of just, you know, it's kind of just like meh, you know. 
I, I, and also garrisons in general should have played a much smaller role in the game. They should have really kept with uh, the original things they were going to do with Warlords of Draenor, which was um, build uh, those two capital cities for each of the factions. But I guess they thought that keeping people in garrisons was a better idea, sadly. Number five, endgame PvE sucks. So what I mean by that is the rating isn't bad. The dungeons really aren't that bad. What is bad is is the system behind it. You know, you hit level cap. Uh, you can either go do the quests to go do Tinan Jungle, get your, you know, blue gear and get into, you know, LFR and get into these raids. Or you can go to Ashran for two days, maybe a day even, get all your purple gear, enchant that shit, get into LFRs, get into you know these beginning raids and 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 it's you know what's the point of grinding all these apex crystals and all the all these rep grinds and, and shit it, it, there's no points you know like they've the, the progression ladder for pve is so fucking broken and, 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 and uninteresting and by the way timeless isle was so much fucking better than tanan jungle in so many fucking ways but that's an entirely different topic altogether um and the fucking content patch how they can fucking call <laughs> call tanan jungle and uh the docks a fucking or shipyards a fucking content patch like come on guys that was a pretty weak fucking content patch if you ask me but whatever uh also especially since tanan jungle was pretty much i think already built in in the game and they kind of just released it later on so i mean what has blizzard really been doing with their time probably focusing on other games that's what i'm thinking at this point number four the game has become a single player experience over, uh, you know, a socially integrated, fucking socially encouraging, banding together experience with other people. And it's really became, it's really affected the community. It's, you can play this game as basically a single player game. You're the fucking commander of a garrison. You're no longer just an ordinary adventurer. You're a fucking major, basically you're like a major lore character for the Horde or the Alliance. You're like king shit and everybody around you is the same commander king shit as you are and it's just it's just you can really play this game as a single player experience uh you know socializing isn't very it's, like i said before i've covered this before but it's not really an interesting thing to do anymore you know you could really just 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 like i said play it as a single player game Number three, ability squish. So they have fucking ripped so many abilities off our fucking bars. Look at what they did to the Arms Warrior, guys. Look at what they did to the Arms Warrior. The Arms Warrior was fucking fun to play. You had fucking stance dancing. You had fucking switching to board, sword and board. You had all these cool spell, spells and abilities. You had fucking overpower. It was fucking fun to play. Here comes fucking Warlords of Draenor. They they ripped away Overpower. Stance Dancing is still a thing, but not to like the extent it used to be. And, and Stance Dancing is going to be completely gone, I believe, in Legion. Um, they ripped away so many of, of Arm's key abilities. And now you got this weird filler, which is Whirlwind. And while the spec is still viable, and the, you can still play the spec, it's not nearly as fun as it used to be. And I think that's what's happening to a lot of these classes um just ability pruning you know just just taking these abilities away from us and saying oh you guys don't really need those abilities you know it's going to be better for the game well it's it's not you know it's kind of dumbing the game down and making the game you know more easy than it already is which is actually pretty fucking hard to do i think at this point but the ability squish i'm not too happy uh, happy about i think it's really taken away from the game and it's taking you know things away from players instead of giving things to players and i think that's a big big issue and I wish that they they wouldn't take uh, so many abilities away from us, but they are. So <laughs> is what it is, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, number two, CRZ. So cross realm zones. Oh fuck, I hate cross realm zones. Blizzard had so many better options, and they totally fucked us over on every, on on those options too. Like they could have merged the servers together. What what's wrong with server merges? literally half the server probably three quarters of the servers right now are low population servers they should merge all these fucking servers together let them have individual unique communities crz just makes people hate each other it makes you know you're out in the world you can't really trade with these other pe players you can't really do much with these other players you see them they they attack your mobs they steal your 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 nodes they steal your fucking you know um 
mats and stuff. They, they still everything you they, they just still shit, you know. And 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 you're 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 questing around, you're walking around, you see these people, but you can't really do much with them. And it, it kind of just makes you hate, I guess, really really even socializing with any of them because you're not, you know, it's not gonna really help you much in in any single way, shape, or form. That's really gonna be beneficial in terms of the end game experience. I really think that communities and community is a lot more important long term. And CRZ has kind of destroyed the community. And server merges would have been a much better idea. There's also the point of ganking. <laughs> it's made fucking leveling on PvP servers the worst fucking thing possible. Um, obviously, PvP on PvP is going to happen, and I promote that 100%. But, you know, CRZ has made it a fucking shit show to deal with, and it's, it's not very fun. A lot of people just insta-queue dungeons these days anyway, but... Anyway, number one, game is no longer about the overall experience but the end package. So the journey to level cap is not important anymore. The, you know, the journey of finding friends, the journey of building these, you know, social packs with people, the journey of the overall journey, the, the, the working together, the seeing the storylines, exploring the zones, these things are all f gone. You know, the, the overall experience no longer matters to Blizzard anymore. It's all about the end package, the end game. Grind to level, fucking level cap. Get to level cap, get to level cap. You get to level cap. Do some raids, do some raids. Grind these reps, grind this, grind that, fuck that. And you're fucking skill capped out. You have all your shit, you're done. You're bored. You don't want to play this shit anymore. You've done everything, you've seen everything. And in, in a fraction of the time it used to take. That's why this game has gone from 10 million subscribers down to probably 3.5 to 4 million right now. Probably less. Who knows? They don't report their subscriber numbers anymore because they know it's dropping like a sack of fucking shit. They don't know what to do. And I really think that their their design philosophy is is gone. You know, all these I think I would also oh, I would almost like to say it's because you know, like maybe a lot of these uh, old Blizzard developers have left the company and and you have all these new developers and and <laughs> maybe they just don't understand the design on how to design an, an, an MMORPG. Like, take take a look at Final Fantasy, for example. I don't even like Final Fantasy. I don't even play that MMO. But I can get... Well, I don't play it often. But I can guarantee you guys that that game offers a better overall experience than World of Warcraft. And that's not even an open-world MMORPG. That's not even... Uh, that's, that's a highly instanced MMORPG. And it still offers a better overall experience. This game ha has no overall experience. No, it's, it's all about the end package. And it's unfortunate. That's why you have 100,000 people playing on private servers, uh, certain private servers, uh, for the vanilla experience. That's why you have all these people, you know, wanting to go back and, and have these legacy servers. Because the overall experience was so much better. It was just a better package all around. Um, compared to what it is now. And I'm going to say this. I really do believe the game now as as you know as uh, as a pro product i guess as a video game is more fun maybe in some regards than vanilla was there's some better things to it than than vanilla better design design uh design things in the game like quests are you know quests are are easier um a little bit more accessible things are a little bit more i guess it feels like a more quality product, but if you go back to vanilla, things feel bigger in scale and more interesting and more about the adventure. So I think as an MMORPG, if you really go back to vanilla, you really go back to TBC, you really go back to Wrath of the Lich King, it felt like a better MMORPG. It felt like a more a game that will hold you there longer, you know, compared to the game now where it's it's basically like fucking Call of Duty, it feels like. So I don't know. That's numbers 20 to 1. Hate on me. Disagree with me. Um, I The only thing I didn't really bring up here is, you know, one thing just, just as a bonus uh, number here is the lack of content patch patches is just unacceptable. We paid $59 for this game, $49 for this game. It depends where you live, I guess. Uh, full price for this video game, and we got fucking shit on content-wise. There is free-to-play MMO RPGs out there that produce more regular content than this game, by far. You know, and that's sad. That's fucking sad. Um, I don't know how they can justify the subscription-based model if if they're not going to be releasing, you know, content patches, um, relatable, big enough content patches regularly. Um, it's not worth the uh, 
the the fee of a subscri sub subscription fee. So that's my opinion anyway, but as it stands, these are the reasons why World of Warcraft to me has become a game that's no longer really about the player. It's it's more about, you know, making money for Blizzard, especially with the pay to win features. And this video is 40 minutes long, so <laughs> Way longer than I thought it would be, but I, I thought that I should expand. Um, there was a few hiccups during this video, especially when you're doing most of it all in one take. But I really feel like going forward, there's a few things Blizzard, ne Blizzard needs to do better. And they need to really focus on fixing, you know, numbers. The numbers in this video that I, I labeled, which is number 20, 20 to the bonus number that I, I picked. These are things that I think Blizzard should address. Um, I'm not saying every single issue should, needs to be fixed specifically, but... These are things that need to be addressed and looked at. And from a player perspective, I can't see this game lasting, you know, another five years down the line at the current rate that it's going. It's not going to happen. You know, back in 2008, you could see World of Warcraft lasting another five years. Uh, at this point, you can't really see it lasting another five years. And I think that's maybe it's just Blizzard is moving on. Maybe Blizzard is focusing on other games now. Maybe it's more profitable for them to focus on other games than it is this game right now. I don't know. There has to be a reason, though. Um, it really feels like uh, something is going on behind the scenes that, that we really don't really know. And I just hope, I really hope that Legion is a good expansion and that it, it really fixes a lot of these problems I have with the game. And uh, most players have with this game, really. So we'll see, though. It's all in due time. So thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Dislike the video if you dislike it. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the future.